Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here we've got a kind of reasonable landscape picture, but it's kind of a bit dull. So let's see if we can energize it, add more light to it, using one basic device, which is the blurry ellipse. So let's start off, go to the shapes here, go to the ellipse tool, and we're going to draw an ellipse. We can change the color at any time. At the moment, we'll just leave it white for the moment. Then we're going to add a blur to it. So we go to the light filters here, go to Gaussian blur, and then bring this one up. If we turn this up here, it gets a little bit blurry. We want to preserve alpha off because we turn that on, we lose the blur. But this only goes up to 100 pixels here. We can put in any number we like. Let's put in 500. There, that's nice and blurry. I like that because that gives a fairly indistinct thing. If we go back up to the pointer tool, so the, the move tool there, then we, when we click on this, we can see it here and we can play around with this now. So let's change the fill of this to something a little bit sunnier. Let's say maybe a sort of a yellowy color there. Doesn't matter if it's a bit bright because we're going to play with opacity to turn it down. We can turn it around and let's just add a little bit of light up the valley here. So let's turn that round to follow the valley and then drag that kind of up there and just play with the shape a little bit to make it sort of fit in here. What we're also going to do that's going to make a difference here is rather than normal blend mode, I'm going to go down to screen. There, see a look at that. Now a way to turn off temporarily this outside these lines here to see what it is, is simply to press the spacebar. That temporarily changes the cursor to a hand. If you move the hand, it comes back again. Or you can press H and it stays as a hand, and you press H again and it comes back again. So it lets you turn off all those lines. So that may be a little bit on the dull side. So let's make this a little bit warmer, add a bit of sun into that. Make that a little bit brighter there, a bit more saturated, bring that down. Or we can even play with the sliders here. But what we do as well is we don't want to overdo that. So we'll turn down the this until we see it a bit better. Now if I turn that off and on again, see it's adding a bit more, more light there. If I want to increase that, I just hit Control J. Uh, no, that's a bit too much in it. Control Z then to turn that off again. But I can duplicate it. Let's hit Control J and we'll move this one elsewhere. So we'll drag this down here. We'll turn this around a bit here to level that off. And we'll use this to light up this area at the bottom here. Uh, we'll take the opacity down further on that. And let's change the fill again. We'll make that a bit more orange again. And maybe we'll make it on the green side. Maybe that's going a little bit too. There. Yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? So it's just lighting up a bit more naturally. We're taking a colour from there and, and intensifying it. Again, let's turn that off and on. Off. And on, there we go. See, that's you see that the fuzziness spills outside of this. Let's add a bit of darkness now. Hit Control J for another one of these. Go to the tool here and say, Where's that? And let's turn up the opacity so we can see it a bit more. Is it down here? There it is. Right, we'll bring that up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this dark. So we'll go to that colour again there. And we're just going to turn the things down here. Oh, we just go down here. So make that a kind of very dark colour. And I'm going to go from screen to multiply to make that go dark. And so I can see what I'm doing. Turn the opacity up for the moment. And then we'll turn this around here. Make this a lot smaller. And bring it up here. So we'll add a bit of shade on the mountainside there. So I'll just to fit into that sort of grassy bit, turn it around a bit more. See, it's just a bit of fiddling around, 
put into that make that maybe a little bit wider there so it's like a bit of a cloud shadow here and hit spacebar what does that look like uh, it needs a bit stretch at the end doesn't it so take it up to the end there doesn't matter if it goes outside long it has the right effect and bring down the opacity so it makes it look a little bit more natural so it's a bit of darkening there and let's hit Control j on that take another dark new one and put it the other side of the valley here turn that down so the hills the other side are bring that around there and put this up here and just bring that down a bit so the hills the other side that valley there are darkened as well and just play around with the angle of it here then what we can do we just add a bit of light coming down it here so let's take one of those bright ones at the bottom normally what we do is we group them carefully and name them and so on but i'm just doing this quickly Control j down there so that's brightness up here but i'm going to take this up to here and turn this around here and make this a sort of a it's like a sunbeam coming down into this and make that a little bit of a brighter yellow than there I can even drag the colours I can make that go a bit more like that there to maybe turn up the opacity a bit and it's not enough is that enough that's probably okay there but I could duplicate it if it was if it's a bit much and I uh, well that gives us a bit of a beam down here and the light coming down here let's turn that one up a little bit more just to kind of go with that I think and let's do this do one in the sky just to show what we can do this is very quick normally you take a lot more time and care with this so I can hit Control J to duplicate one there and take it up to the sky and I'll zoom out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here turn this around horizontal and I'm going to put a colour into this but the way I'm going to do this is slightly different uh, I'm going to take that co colour from up there so if I drag the this the this from down here to this there and take a sky colour and I click that and that makes that one there so this is filling this bit here and because it's lower down the stack it's underneath this white layer here and I've got screen there. What would what, 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 look at what a multiply do? Multiply, uh, maybe that's a bit much. Try a path overlay, that's always a good one. Ah, there you go. See, that's brightened up the sky a bit. So, overlay is another thing to use. And maybe I could try overlay on the, some of these down here as well. What if I made that one overlay? Oh, that's warming that up enough. In fact, it's so much we can take it down again. That's giving it a bit more orange, isn't it? So in other words, it's about playing with the, 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 the blend modes, overlay, screen and multiply, probably the key ones to use. Let's have a look at that. It's H for hands, I can't see yet. So I've got a sunbeam coming down here, darkened everything. And I'm going to con connect those together. Click on the top one and shift click on the bottom one and then control G to group them. So I can now turn them off. So I got before. And after that's certainly a dramatic change isn't it before and after there we go that's quick it's quite a big effect adding light and shadow and color and so on into this experimenting trying different blend modes and all based on a blurry ellipse there we go and hope you like that and thank you very much for watching